No, I'm not here to debate. That's not, oh, you're that's just not my to, question. You're just here to insult me. Uh, yeah, you're a bad. Yeah, I am. Where did you learn how to public speak? Because you're really good at lying out of your uh, what, what have I lied about? Name one thing I lied tonight about. The name a stats. Name, name a second thing. No, name a stat. I said that's wrong. Uh, you did said 11 million jobs. Uh, you said 50 percent. Yes, of 11 the million jobs are so, open for blue collar work, according to Mike Rowe, and according to three independent studies, according to the Department of Labor. Name another stat. I said that's wrong. I guess my main point. No, name is, a third stat that I said you, that's wrong. When you say a stat, or you just say numbers. It's helpful usually when you're public speaking to say where you got that information, because people who disagree with you might not. I, I, oh, so, so give me no, but you, you, you give some examples. Where did I lie or say a stat that's not true? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Kirk, according to Charlie Kirk, he loves kicking us. Rex smoke students who walks away after losing arguments. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I'll love us check this video out together. Let's get right into it. Hey, Kirk. Um, my question is sort of a question slash compliment. Um, you're a very good public speaker. And I think a lot of people here might struggle with that. Um, what I'm curious is somebody with so little education beyond high school and, you know, just experience in the field, how are you able to so confidently um, just kind of word vomit, right? <laughs> you've said a, you, pretty word much every vomits. question you've answered has been no answer. You've just kind of said what conservatives want to hear. So really all of your work is not a debate. It's just confirmation bias. So you want to have you a debate? A, where, sorry? You want a debate? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm just curious where you learned. <laughs> You sure? Where you learned how to I, public I'm a speak. high school graduate. You're in college, man. Let's debate. I, I vomit for a living, you said. Yeah. Come on, let's debate. No, I'm not here to debate. That's not, oh, you're that's just not my to, question. You're just here to insult me. Uh, yeah, you're a bad... Yeah, I am. You're okay. a hero. Where did you learn how to public speak? Because you're really good at lying out of your uh, what, what have I lied about? Name one thing I lied tonight about. The name stats. A, name, name a second thing. No, name a stat. I said that's wrong. Uh, you did, said 11 million jobs. Uh, you said 50 percent. Yes, 11 growth. million jobs are so, open for blue collar work, according to Mike Rowe, and according to three independent studies, according to the Department of Labor. Name another stat I said that's wrong. I guess my main point. No, is name a third stat that I said you, that's wrong. When you say a stat, or you just say numbers, it's helpful usually when you're public speaking to say where you got that information, because people who disagree with you might not. I, I, oh, so, think so you're give me no, but you, you, you give some examples. Where did I lie or say a stat that's not true? You need to work on not doing confirmation bias. Wait, hold on. No, but you come up here and say, oh, how did you with a high school education learn to spew BS? Say one thing I said that was wrong, misleading, unfactual, not rooted in data. One you're thing. doing it right now. I'm asking you a question. I was just making a comment, and you're spinning it. That's what you're really good at. That's why I think you're a good No, you came speaker. up here and insulted me. I'm asking you, how have I misled this audience? And you come unprepared, like not with a single data. I thought you'd at least have like one gotcha, man. To defend like yourself. one number, like one thing. 11 million job openings, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that require muscular labor and require just a six-month technical training degree. That is true. At the apex, 15,000 people coming across the southern border every single day. I even said it's down a little bit. That is true. What, what, what have I said that's incorrect? I'll do next. You're good at what you do, but not for the right reasons. That's all I'm saying. They don't want to debate me because they can't debate me. They can't say one thing I said that's wrong. They can't name one data point. They just come up here and insult. You, my friend, are why we are going to beat you guys historically because you are afraid to have a debate. Just. It's so amazing, the smugness. Uh, how'd you learn to speak like this in word vomit? Oh, what I say that's true? Uh, everything. Name one thing. Name another thing. Name another thing. Yeah, you, sh you should ask for money back at KU. They're really scamming you, man. You'd think you'd have one little thing. All right. Damn, that was a hit right there. This was interesting. Um, a lot of the lefts, <laughs> I'll keep on calling left, sometimes labor. Um, they come out to spill out some things. They feel like Charlie Kirk 
is wrong in some statements. He's manipulative. But you can't state one f- something. Just, just correct him that you are wrong at this. Your, your, your stats is wrong. Correct him. No, you are clueless. You just want to just insult him. The student right there is a true definition of who a smog really is. He's a s- true definition. He's really a smog, he's arrogant, and he's also ignorant. Because you can come out in public and question someone's character and intelligence, whereas you have no backing or facts to, to state what you are actually saying. It makes absolutely no sense. He just came to make a fool of himself. Absolutely make a fool of himself. He think he's trying to embarrass Kirk, but Charles is really, really intelligent and he knows such smug students how they act and how they behave. So he was prepared. Charles said, give me an example of, tell me something that I said that is wrong. Just one. Poof. Guess clueless. It feels like Charlie is manipulative. Charlie is corny. But if someone is corny, you, you, can, you can tell them, this is what you are doing is wrong. This is why you are wrong. But the student right there, the smug student right there, have nothing to say. And Charlie still beat him right there in the debate. <laughs> and tell him, you are a smug student and you are ignorant. Like, I, I don't know how people get that God to come out to speak in public and whereas you have nothing to say. It's, it's, it's bad. Tell us that the guy is wasting his tuition fee. Uh, evidence, evidence of it. You can see, you can all see this. This is evidence. Like, a, a college student who come out and say nothing and went back to his city, just walk away. It's clueless. Comment down below and think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales on.